All right, welcome back. This is Wall Crawl, and we're continuing our All Achievements Guide. We just whooped Hornet, and now we're about to get something excellent. We pick this up, and it is the Mothwing Cloak. I love getting this thing. It makes it so much better to move around in the game. It basically allows you to dash, just like Hornet did. Now, you kind of try to move around for a moment, and then the dreamers stop, and they're like, wow, this guy's great. He's awesome. At least that's what I think they're saying. Again, I skipped their dialogue, but there they are, hovering around. And um, then you see the little dream bubbles. And off you go. You can't go where you came from, so they're forcing you to go in here, so you have to see how to use the dash. And it tells you, hey, dash over this. So you do. You can jump up and dash to the money. Jump down here. And we're going to go to the left. You couldn't get there unless you jump and dash. Keep moving your way. And feel free to just dash, dash, dash. That way it goes faster. I shoot these birds. And uh, go. There's this guy. He's just chilling. If you hit him, you could fight him. But I just let him go. I just leave him be. There at the Lake of Oon. Come in here. Talk to Quirrell real quick. Coral's a buddy. He's out here helping. Sit on a bench. And back we go. Dashy, dashy, dash. It feels so much better to have this dash. Before that, ugh, you feel like you are just at a crawling speed. And as I said in the beginning of the game, in like my first video, you feel... Maybe like you don't have the best control and as you gain things like the dash like the double jump It starts to feel a lot more in control So I don't really know why that is But having more tools actually seems to help So instead of complicate it We're gonna work our way down um, Kill these squits because they are horrible and uh, watch out for snappy flowers and stuff like that stay on the left side this first time down I usually go to the, the right but um, I want this geo node and I want to cut that log so kill this guy this little poofy smoke go through here this little flowers trying to get me and you're gonna have to open it up with this switch right here Go over here, watch out for the flower, and then go ahead and get you this money. We're hopping down. Also, something I just did that's not the best. Your little uh, insect guys who put your money in your pocket from Gathering Swarm. They're super helpful, but they cannot give you money if you leave the screen before they've given it to you. So you might need to wait sometimes before you leave the screen. We're going to hop up here and um, we're about to go get a charm. But first we want to clear out the map by going all the way up through this particular room. And then we'll backtrack down and go in that thorny exit to the right. So just to send all the way up here. There's this guy that I don't like. Bam, go ahead and I'm gonna heal up and keep working my way up. And I'll be working my way up the room, y'all. Yeah. Here we go. And there's like four squits. I'm gonna hop up here just to connect the map. We've been there before. So I am definitely gonna use spells to get rid of them. Or at least the one of them because they always just give you a give you a pain they're just not the best dudes all right so we've gotten all the way through now we go down and go into that little thorny pathway now you may notice as you play some enemies return and some enemies don't now if they're really small and fairly in insignificant like um both of these guys, those guys will return, I believe, when you um, when you leave the room and come back, they'll be back. 
more significant bad guys are usually gone. All right, so that's like little buggies that make electric. So you're going to have to wait till the electricity kind of fades and then you can get through. You're going to hop up and dash. So hop, dash. This next one, you can't hop fully. You have to do kind of a light hop. So light hop, dash. Go up here and then you're going to fall. And it's basically as soon as it does its electric pulse, that's when you'll fall and you'll have to dash to the right to that safe spot. So it pulses, fall, dash. Again, right as it pulses, you'll jump and go. And it has to be a smaller jump. And you're through. You cut that so you can get back and get you the Thorns of Agony charm. We're going to collect all the charms. It's an achievement, but it, it unlocks things in the game. But you definitely don't need all the charms. You can arrange those charms however you like. I don't much care for Thorns of Agony. What it does is when you get hit, it sends out some little tendrils in about melee area. And it would hit someone who hit you. It would kind of hit them back. But it basically forces you to do that. And so it takes away control of the character. And also, when you're hit, you have... Um, invulnerability time and a lot of times I can do more damage or um, react accordingly better uh, during that time than being forced to do what uh, Thorns of Agony does. So we're coming this way. Last time we didn't go downward. We're going to go downward this time. Come down here and we're going to go and sit on this bench. Now we're about to go and fight the massive Moss Charger. So we're heading to the left. And uh, she's pretty close. These guys pop up and just, you have to hit their like little things back at them. If you get too close to them, they disappear and you can't fight them. So there's kind of a, a group of them. I do go ahead and kill these guys. Most every time I come through until my hunter's journal has got all of them. Because you don't see them in a lot of areas of the game. Alright, we'll go in there later. Come across. Dash. And here we are to the massive moss charger, which will be our next video. So, I will see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, maybe, in, maybe even a little comment. See you guys later.